Hey Star Friends, it's Francesca from Conscious Voltero. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel and clicking on this video. Today I will be elaborating about the full moon in Capricorn. It's going to be an energetic forecast. So I'm going to talk about insights you need to know about this full moon, general guidance, and just information that's going to be super helpful for you during this time. So you can navigate through these heavy waters um, in an easy manner, right? So the full moon in Capricorn is always super intense. Like July and Cancer season is always super intense for many individuals because this is a strong time of purging, okay? This is where there's a lot of deep reflection. So I know a lot of you guys, a lot of my clients, a lot of people in my life have been going through, you know, tumultuous times because what's affected during this time is actually our 12th house, our karma. So this is where we are actually... Um, releasing karma uh, kind of getting results from our past actions and kind of seeing where we have um, hidden limitations and this may result in internal conflict social conflict um, but ultimately um, it's meant to help us illuminate um, our limitations and also i'm going to talk about what's going to be happening on a societal level because this is a major time uh, for society as well so let's go ahead and get to it. So during this time, um, the full moon in Capricorn is going to be highlighting our security. So both our material security and then our emotional security. The um, full moon is going to ask us to deepen our reflection our, on dichotomies of where our dichotomies exist within us. So asking us the question, where have you abandoned one principle in exchange for the other? So this is going to be a real time of purging and an opportunity for you to let go of people who bring more harm into your life rather than joy and to also shed negative uh, thought patterns or habits. During this time, it's going to be important for you to be raw, honest, and surrender to yourself while also being compassionate to yourself and others. These emotions that come up will be heightened, but it's going to be important for you to take this chance to get in, into a self-healing phase and encourage yourself to forgive yourself for any sort of tough times that you've dealt with yourself or others. The main highlight during this time and the theme is going to be to make you question uh, where you need to shift your commitment. So your commitment with your habits, the commitment with your lifestyle, right? Illuminating the light on negative patterns um, and your work. In this full moon in Capricorn, we're going to have the time to actually realize where our feelings are actually cutting off our progress and where our emotions and habitual uh, thinking cycles are not in, best, in our best interest. So for example, a lot of us at this moment, we can be recognizing that, that we may have um, chaotic thinking coping mechanisms so for example overthinking over analyzing right um hypervigilance codependency with others codependency even with technology right uh codependency with money or or the way that other people make us feel this full moon in capricorn is going to help us understand where we have an unhealthy uh, coping mechanism with our emotions and our habitual thinking and the full moon in Capricorn is going to help us um, and it's going to show us what doesn't work anymore regarding our habits, our lifestyle, and our emotions and thinking processes. It's going to force us to take a good look at our false ideas of comfort and really cut through unhealthy attachments. So false ideas of comfort can be, you know, materialism. Uh, codependent relationships, relationships that no longer serve you, belief systems that lo no longer serve you, you know, relying on, um, you know, old beliefs or relying on, on the elderly, right? Or relying on uh, government bodies um, just because that's what we've always been used to, you know? So the full moon in Capricorn is going to highlight that for us during this time. During this time, it's also going to be important to take a good look at your life and see what isn't sustainable or which isn't a good thing anymore. So this is going to apply to many things in your life, but basically that's what it's going to highlight. So what's not sustainable, spending habits, people, places and things, you know, it's, it's really it's going to get 
really uncomfortable doing things that are unhealthy. So whether it's eating bad, being around the wrong people, going against your destiny, going against your life purpose, things will get harder because right now this is a time where karma is being brought to the surface. So if you feel as though there's too much interferences, there's too much struggle to get things done with a certain person or to complete a certain task at your work, it's maybe because it's not on your life path anymore. During this time, it's also going to be highlighted that um, you're needing to actually um, replace unhealthy dynamics. So same thing, just different wording. Um, The major emphasis of this time is going to be to alter your comfort. So you're going to be realizing how you're going to kind of be forced out of your comfort zone. So whether it's like unexpected changes in your social life, in your love life, in your work life, you're going to be needing to get out of your comfort zone. So whether it's for the good or the bad, it's just going to be a highlight. And I just want you to be aware of that. So instead of being reactive to the situation, you can be proactive and actually uh, lead with confidence. There will also be a huge emphasis of you potentially feeling discomfort in your living situation or potentially who you've once looked up to. So whether it's authority figures, mentors, um, or even your partner, like if you're in a relationship, this may change. Um, Or you may begin to potentially, you know, question things. Um, It's also going to be important. So this is just general advice for for my star friends is that at this time you want to begin to turn away from unresolvable arguments or things that haven't been able to find a solution so let's say for example let's say you've been arguing with your friend about a certain topic for weeks you know let's say it's even dragged dragged on to months that you just you and your friend can simply not meet on the same page when it comes to a certain conversation or a certain topic at this time, you want to put it to rest. You want to drop the, the desire to be right and you want to kind of like leave it behind, you know? Sit with what you can give resolution to and that's going to apply to everything in your life. So whether it's your relationships, your financial situation, your career, your your personal life, right? Even the relationship with yourself. If if you feel as though there hasn't been a, you haven't been able to reach a resolution, it's time to just drop it, right? And and just sit with what you need in order to learn and create some sort of resolution in the in the long run. Ultimately, there's going to be a lot of restructuring of balance um, in order to turn away of what what you can't control, um, and this is going to be helping you forge closure in your life. So, for example, uh, there's going to be a lot of restructuring in in the world as well. So, I'm seeing potential institutions that were limiting um, the public from travel, right? Um, with with the, these policies, right? That's going to potentially come at a halt, right? Or or society is now going to find a resolution for that you know so they're gonna have to put everything on hold i'm seeing like prime ministers and people in hierarchy even presidents not being able to actually force certain policies on humanity and there's going to be some sort of pause right uh so we so us as a society we can get closure on on what we need to figure out ultimately um, the main emphasis at this moon, at this full moon, is also going to make us highlight, right, and focus on healthy reliances. So replacing negative habits, negative people, negative circumstances, negative thought patterns, etc., negative lifestyles with healthy reliances, healthy lifestyles. So relying on a healthy diet, relying on healthy family members, relying on people who feel safe, people who understand us, people who love us, right? People that we're compatible with and that are actually healthy for our well-being, not just people that, you know, we want to be around because of how they look like or because we've known them for a while or because they're our family or, you know? And it, it also comes down to our habits, 
you know recognizing that some habits no longer suit you just just because you've been comfortable in them for a while doesn't mean they're healthy also diets just because you've been consuming something for a while doesn't mean it's healthy so that's going to be one of the main highlights as well it's going to be a good time to also mitigate with others and mediate with yourself in the process to create some sort of practical solution on a societal level we're going to be we're going to be seeing a lot of political division because people in power will be losing their power over humanity so i'm seeing like mm, you know the division regarding um political beliefs um you know bashing others because their political beliefs may danger um one party's influence over another so you know the the whole idea of divide and conquer will will be very prevalent during this time but it's mainly going to be due to one group of individuals losing their power so they're going to start bashing the others and we're also going to be seeing a lot of uh, deception through our authority figures so a lot of authority figures losing respect um because they're going to be either exposed or um they're going to be admitting to their deception to the public so uh, people in hierarchy or people in power right are going to be coming clean to the public um either by force or by by wanting to confess um, and these are going to be individuals that we once trusted. So I'm talking political individuals, right? Uh, respected um, professionals. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it off with um, just some general downloads. During this time, it's going to be important to take care of your stomach. So if you're having some stomach or digestive issues, you definitely want to consume probiotic light foods, right? It's going to be a good time for people to fast as well during this time so maybe like a water fast or a juice fast it's also going to be important to take care of your knees so if you have any knee pain you want to focus on stretching potentially yoga and focus on your cardio it's going to be important as well if you're a musician you want to start putting your music out there if you are a nurse you want to also um Begin to question um, your your practice. Not that you shouldn't be a nurse, but it's just um, that that's just the download I'm getting here. Um, you also want to take this time to be very calm, right? Take care of domestic issues, so family issues. Take care of family issues, any relationships with your family. You want to take care of that right now, even though it's a sensitive time. You want to approach it by being very uh, prudent. But also you want to be very responsible and potentially taking accountability where you lack accountability with any family members. You don't want to be rigged, uh, rigged I'm sorry, on any sort of um, past, past arguments either. You want to, um, you want to lead with uh, sympathy as well. And I'm seeing you want to also, when it comes to money matters, you definitely want to see where, you know, you're potentially... Uh, seeking status you know um social status when it comes to your money and, and kind of let go of that by by being more introverted with your money um seeing maybe where you're unstable with your money or where you overspend it's going to be important to also consume uh barley i'm seeing like um lettuce leafy greens uh the the stone that can be used during this time is a moonstone or a hemonite. And then the colors that are going to be really good to wear during the full moon is silver and brown. I also see that it's going to be important if you're like a farmer or if you want to start like growing your own food, you can start looking into that and practicing that because it's going to be a good time for that. Overall, my friends, um, this is going to be just a great time for you to um, create closure for yourself in any sort of karmic contracts and resolve past issues and um, also deepen um, the connection with your family and with loved ones that truly mean a lot to you and release um, negative habits, people, places and things. And yeah, overall, that's all my star friends. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the full moon and Capricorn energy forecast. 
And if you want a Reiki healing during this time, it will be super efficient as it will raise your frequency, help create alignment and release blockages and help enhance your energy level. So you can go to my website, consciousvoltero.com, book your Reiki healing there. Oh, and then very quickly, I want to end it off with some prompt questions for you guys. So you can ask yourself these questions now or during the full moon and share this video with your friends and family. So very quick, end it off with the questions and then peace out. <laughs> okay, so question number one, am I budgeting my time realistically? Question number two, am I seeing my relationship bonds for what they are? Question number three, am I overspending or am I spending emotionally? And last one, question number four, is my lifestyle and my sleep cycles a healthy one? That's about it, my star friends. Take care now. Bye-bye.